let's see, I was getting you set up. No, no. Um, so it's Kate Kaiser Leon. Sure, of course. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah, you know, I just follow me on Twitter. Sure. And then, uh, well, I, I have this project I'm doing right now. I want、uh -huh. to get some feedback.、Sure. And then, this is related to this. Um, is Taiwan's young people. Yeah. So, uh, uh, this is also what I've been doing for a long time. A progressive progressive process of、so right. discovering myself、uh -huh. and what I should do, kind of for Taiwan too, going forward. So.、Okay. Uh, maybe I just share with you some yeah, of the things I'm working on. Of course, I, I have the website here.、So. Oh, perfect. Okay,、yeah. thank you. Um, not can I? Wait, I just kind of give you a history because、sure. it's kind of a of course, of course. a progression. Uh, this my company is called Talent Basket. Now, now we're actually still a for-profit company, but、mm -hmm. I, I like to、sure. believe we're very social mission driven. Sure, sure, sure. Um, so really, today I think、um, the mission for what we're trying to do is to empower、um, mm -hmm. sustainable economic growth with global human capital. Now, actually, when I first started three or four years ago, I was just just really have a simple idea. Just that time, I was in university. I saw a Alibaba.com. That's right. Yeah. yeah. Oh, okay. Thank you. You read it. Yes. Because that time, actually, Alibaba was only around four or five years. Then I said, actually. 呃，因为我小时候就看我爸，就是他是做生意嘛，然后就常常出国，就是说，哎，最近对这种 global culture fascinated. And I, I moved to the US when I was sixteen. But anyway, long story short, I, I, I just have this fascination on global culture. 那我就觉得说，网络是一个可以 connect the world 的 vehicle. 只是我那时候其实也不是 engineer. I'm really just kind of have this idea, right? But、uh, long story short,、um, we did a lot of different things. But now, I'm just really starting to build a new business. And I really have this new mission on connecting the world again. And then, because of this pandemic, we have to be more careful. Because of this pandemic, we have to be more careful. Because of this pandemic, we have to be more careful. Because of this pandemic, we have to be more careful. Because of this pandemic, we have to be more careful. Because of this pandemic, we have to be more careful. Because of this pandemic, we have to be more careful. Because of this pandemic, we have to be more careful. Because of this pandemic, we have to be more careful. Because of this pandemic, we have to be more careful. Because of this pandemic, we have to be more careful. Because of this pandemic, we have to be more 当初最开始为什么有这个名字是、嗯、那时候创业是有一些大概在 Boston 的时候、嗯，然后那个时候就有一些那个印度的伙伴，因为那时候大概二零零八年零七年、嗯、那时候 IT 外包还有点 popular，、嗯嗯、I'm not engineer， 所以我需要一个 co-founder，、嗯、就找到一些印度人在在印度，然后那时候就开始我的 journey of this global travel。那那个时候其实本来有一个 simple idea for Town Bus， 就是帮美国的公司去 hire engineers in India。Sure. So we built this recruiting website， 然后后来我就很 excited， 我就我就搬到旧金山，然后说 OK， I I this is gonna work。因为那时候就刚好也是 sub subprime crisis， 所以我想说很多公司可能要 cut cost。对啊对啊。结果我搬到硅谷之后发现 nobody do that、uh,。People、yeah. just use exactly. link exactly. startup， 然后就是 iterate process、right.。所以那时候其实 people 就跟以前都不一样。对。以前是一次一百个工程师。是是是是。后来发现那也不是 trend。结果我那时候就开始好吧，那我为了要赚钱，我就开始就做我一直会做的，就是做一些行销。Right. I'm always like a marketer. So I started this mini agency. Really, I was a freelance myself, but I had no intention of starting a marketing agency, really. But ended up, I, I got involved in that business. Now, why would I quit? Because in the first year, I was doing this so-called social media marketing. So I struggled because I didn't get any clients. Then I was just doing it alone. So I ended up doing this so-called social media marketing. So I ended up doing this so-called social media marketing. So I ended up doing this so-called social media marketing. So I ended up doing this so-called social media marketing. So I ended up doing this so-called social media marketing. So I ended up doing this so-called social media marketing. So I ended up doing this so-called social media marketing. So I ended up doing this so-called social media marketing. Well, you know that was when Obama just got elected、yeah. in the U.S. So social media communication yeah, became、sure. kind of a way. So many, that time, the United States level government、mm -hmm. wanted to understand how to do this two-way communication. That's right. So I started, okay, just just pitch to a case, and then I did the plan. And then I was like, oh, this really works. So I started to do that. I looked for another IFP. So I just put Guang. So the Guang Dao is the Guang Guang Group is wanting to do this social engagement. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But it's for the APEC market. Because most of the people going to Guang Dao are from Taiwan and Japan. So I was like, okay, then I won again. It's all two for two. So I just, I just, I just, I just flew to Guang Dao. Then I started this very long journey of working with them for the past ten years. Wow. Yeah, but but because of that, I, I really then learned about this idea of、uh, cross border、mm -hmm. kind of social media、sure. uh, strategy and、mm -hmm. management. Then I, I really got involved with a lot of、uh, tourism works and cross border works、okay. for the past ten years. Cool. 那大概也是在这几年，我就开始就觉得说、mm -hmm. ，OK, I I started become 
mini success， you know， 至少可以养得活自己， sure, sure. 然后是有一个小、yeah. 小生意。对对对 ，a few people。可是，嗯、um, ，but I feel like that's not my original purpose for entrepreneurship，、uh-huh. okay. 因为我我本来就是想要做一个比较像平台的东西。然后同一时间的话，我们做很多旅游的这种 development，、mm-hmm. so I've been going to different very rural areas or remote islands like Micronesia，、mm-hmm. 或者是去。Like Papua New Guinea, or、oh, oh, yeah, I went to Uzbekistan. So I, I just started going to be many university students. Just is say it's more for tourism development, but it's just do some trainings and teach them how to use social media to promote their culture. Because they need to have because tourism is like a really good vehicle for economic development for those countries. So, so I just go to teach these things, just with some associations and NGOs pay. And so the process, now they just say, actually, many of these students, they want to find like an internship. So I just say, okay, but obviously, you know, it, it's quite hard for you to get an internship overseas, right? Especially from like India or Philippines. So I just say, no, 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 Uh-huh. 然后就觉得说，哎、欸，这其实可以哦，就是 maybe I can design something. The infrastructure OK， 平宽什么？对对对， OK、就是这 emerging mind， 他们是不错、嗯。那我也就很习惯这种，反正就过去几年都是 very virtual working、okay.。So I'm like, OK, well, why don't I think about this as a idea about creating a virtual workspace for internship？ 那那后来就，这其实那是 pre COVID。And then, and then, just happened to be this year when we launched a platform. COVID happened,、mm-hmm. so all the school shut down,、yeah. and all the guys have become quite a hot trend.、Mm-hmm. So it's just, just that much more. Yeah, we were built for this. Yeah, yeah. 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 Really, was this idea creating the digital workforce for the future, as a social innovation? This、mm-hmm. is this own, uh, 也算是 because we realize is if we empower them with digital skills, now 其实 they can just do a lot of different things. That's right.、Um, empower their local people too. That's right. And an internship is just a a starting point, but but it could be a real sort of data layers on talents、mm-hmm. and 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 really have the data on just different.、Um, Performance or evaluation and learning, so it's just gradually starting to think, "Hey, this could be a new direction." Yeah. 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 那我们也是想说，就是呃，但后来也是就做做做，就是 we we started the this journey on 呃、uh, ，just just very simple idea of creating virtual internship.、Sure. But later on, we realized、uh, in order for this intern to function and work well,、mm-hmm. uh, we need to train them better. That's right. So we started this peer to peer learning program on a weekly basis. Um, you know, just so. And, and obviously, we don't have that much resource、mm-hmm. to keep providing content and training.、Mm-hmm. So what we ended up we doing is we invite some of the more experienced intern to come back to teach、mm-hmm. those or to the yeah sure sure yeah 学长制学长制对对对 so it's becoming like a cycle. And then、mm-hmm. what's actually interesting is um, 就是 because our community is very global and multicultural,、mm-hmm. so it ended up becoming an interesting place where people just share different perspective and we all just come together to work as a as one basically. So it's like ah, this is my own idea, down there. 那那接下来就想说，可以成为一个比较长期的这种呃、uh, ，almost like a talent、mm-hmm. tech enable staffing company in some yeah, way, but、sure. but but to export talent that way. 那这些是我们呃、uh, ，all the university we have done 呃、uh, official unofficial like、uh, campus recruiting and webinar with. 所以大概 for the past eight months、mm-hmm. we work with seventeen university from different countries and 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 train different students. Now, this, this is the sound of the program we're designing, and our own team is pretty decentralized. So, this is what I'm thinking about now because I'm in Taiwan now.、Mm-hmm. I moved back two years ago. For anyway, I don't want to get too long story, but it's yeah, it's fine, it's fine. Yeah, um, go ahead, go ahead. Uh, 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 uh,
。But anyway, we didn't work out getting married，、okay. 所以我就我就搬回来。但是我为了要把它追回来，我就是去向那 apply for incubator， 本来要在那边开公司。听起来很像电影情节。对对对 ，But I actually did not into the， 就是现在大陆没有很多那个。什么两岸的这种， course, 对对对。Yeah. 然后我就后来就申请那个，对。Yeah. 但是就后来 ，I got into the Peking University.、Yeah. They just gave me an office,、sure. but I never really went. 呃，北大加速器。对对，在厦门有一个。Yeah, yeah. 对，然后后来 ，anyway， 就后来也也也也因为机缘，就反正大陆那边也被开了这样。Sure. 但是。但也后来也是我因为分手就搬回台湾，结果我就两年这两年来就以前都是大概一半时间在旧金山，一半在台湾，现在就是 full time 台湾。够。然后这两年 ，especially this year, I haven't traveled at all for the past eleven months, and it's my longest time to stay in Taiwan for the last twenty years. 所以就是我也觉得说，哎 ，how how how can I actually build up this singly global community from Taiwan? 确实，因为我觉得台湾本来就是一个 ，you know, it's kind of a Non-chillin place. It's it's,、yeah. it's a it's a very it's a very interesting destination. That's right. And how can I actually create this very mini global curated community from Taiwan、yeah. and actually inspire Taiwanese people to think about? Okay, you know, we can do this even though we're not, you know, not some global kind of idea. But but、yeah. so、I can create this、yeah. very global citizenship driven community.、Right. We can't be the player. We can be the referee. That's right. 对，所以我也是想说，怎么样让，就是说，当然就是，我现在在想的，就是 like how how can I um obviously build this out from Taiwan and kind of actually having Taiwan as a global hub. And right now, my CTO is in Australia, and we have two developers in Indonesia. So that's why we're thinking to have our tech team there. And our talent director is、uh, who's the one kind of in charge of all the acquisition of talent and training. She's based in Malaysia. And my account person, he's in Taipei, going with me. Okay. Now our sales is in Korea, but he's from Uzbekistan. He just graduated,、oh, wow. and she's still a student in Malaysia. So she's running a kind of internal marketing. All, all very Indo-Pacific. <laughs> That's right. Yeah. So it's just we're still very yeah, kind of in a in a Asia space. <laughs> But interesting, we actually got some penetration in this Zhongdong. So we have with like Quanta, and UAE, and some like Pakistan, Bangladesh. It's very emerging. So, just to say, their schools will recommend their students to your university's free program. Yes, yes. So, the partner is this meaning. Then, some schools are we sign official MOU. I see. But they can get our university platform. They can get actual credits for their school credit. So that, that's ultimately what we want to establish in、yeah, this kind sure, of. Sure. Academic ecosystem, so university system, but virtually, and all across different countries. Now, for these emerging countries, actually, they actually need it because they're like, oh, this sounds very cool, and how they, the school itself doesn't have that much infrastructure anyway、right. for for administrating all this. So essentially, in the future, we're thinking to build this kind of internship program on the cloud, where、um, essentially we're trying to provide like a Google grade internship、yeah. but for any business. Yeah. 对，是一个一个 system 这样子。了解，了解。对对对。那 actually, I'll, I'll show you a quick video. You、sure. might you might find it interesting. I'll show and I'll show you some actual system to first, get some feedback. 呃，这个是我们学生自己做的。It's a really nice logo. Thank you. 非常辨识度。这个是。So Talent Master is a digital talent company of global citizens. What we do is we strive to provide economic opportunity for global workforce and empower them to the power of digital. And we have a community of global talents who come together to promote global cultures. And we do so to advance the sustainable development of global communities. Thank you very much. 就是想说，也透过这些教学，灌输一些 sustainable knowledge for the future workforce. Okay. So these projects. So at the moment, I'm working on lead generation. I'm working on designing social. So a lot of projects we hope is for like sustainable focus to to connect with these virtual ideas. Ah, this is a Asian student. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 So I joined the talent basket community because I wanted to apply my theoretical knowledge that I had applied in my university degree、uh, to real world experience. Because I'm just graduated, I want to get the real world experience in real life. So I just、uh, joined the talent basket community to have more experience in real life. 
I joined the Taliban community because I was in need of internship and in light of the recent COVID 19 pandemic, the tourism industry was the hardest hit. Because of this, a lot of establishments were not taking up interns or fresh graduates. I joined the Tamabasia community um, because I wanted to be able to implement the skills I was learning in the classroom, and for an internship, uh, and also being remote at this time. I think my favorite thing about Talent Basket is working with an international team. My favorite thing is uh, I get to work with clients in real life. My favorite thing about Talent Basket is that everybody is really friendly and really easy to talk to. My favorite thing about Talent Basket is how easy it was to apply and a quick response time. Just believe in yourself and constantly work hard. The TV community would be your community if you strive to learn and grow. So join our community to see how much you can transform. Go to talentbasket.com and apply for our internship. We have many, many opportunities waiting for you. Yeah, so that's that's kind of our a student video. Mm -hmm. That's um, pretty good. Yeah, anyway, um, we realize they really need this very real world work situation. Simply apply for a company. Yeah. This company might not have the capacity or, or management resource to mm -hmm. train and develop right. these interns. So we basically create these layers of internship management for the company. So for the sponsoring company, they don't. Uh, we structure the program for them, and we recruit mm -hmm. the best students. And in some way, we we coach the students through the process. So it's really a, mm -hmm. and we design our virtual internship on a three months basis. So it's it's really a kind of a micro internship learning, and it's part time. So. Uh, if a student wants, they can take multiple jobs at the same time. Mm -hmm. And then the, there's like a peer mm -hmm. coaching system too. Design for slashies. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So this is our actual system. But now it's still a prototype. So the internal time commitment, it's about how much time you can commit. About 15 hours a week. Oh, that's very lightweight. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 So we typically put a team of three together in a project. So there's two two team members and one we call talent captain, okay. who's kind of like a project leader. Sure, sure. But he's also a student. But he can also just it's kind of a little bit like gamification. Sure, sure. They have to earn the status yeah. to to be a leader in the project. And and then eventually um, uh, we're starting to pay some of the talent captain too, so managing the project. So so basically, the team of three need to be first formed before you actually deploy, or as soon as one person comes, you deploy. Uh yeah, we assemble the full team first. So for I example, right now we have some of these uh, our current project we're recruiting. Yeah. Uh, so let's see. Like take a motion. Yeah, that's actually a Taiwanese company. Yep, so yep. they sponsor a project with us. So they wanted to find these uh, kind of like a digital salespeople uh -huh. in in Europe. Um, so then they can. Uh, this is an internal uh -huh. aiming. So this is an applicant, right? Uh -huh. um, so we have all these students apply. Okay. Yeah. So right now, let's see uh, something. Now have the good profile completed. Okay, yeah. Okay, then they will apply, in. and then this is like kind of their digital resume. We can check out their, their profile. Mm -hmm. So this student's from Melbourne. Okay. Yeah, and then it will have his level. So if you say, oh, he's now a new user, then he can be promoted. So eventually they'll have like different level of you know, okay. becoming cool. like advancing our community. Very nice. Yeah, just see if he can do what he can do. So he can be like that. Sorry. Unlock accomplishments, I think. <laughs> 对，就是看说表现 ，like the actual performance, you know, on a job or uh, like some of the learning they've gone through. So in terms of the higher, um, right now it's dashboard is kind of crappy, but yeah, we we basically have this talent captain, or the other sort of assigned project manager, and he's responsible to recruit his team. So, uh, like now this one is just this guy's got picked, right? So, so um, he's assigned to be a TC. That's what we call it, and then and then he will go out to finish his recruiting, and then once after that we recommend to the client, uh -huh, uh, and then they have to approve the team before I they see, they I call. See. So yeah. you do like basic curational work, but the client has the final say. Uh, they do, but but you know that that's one of the challenges. Sometimes clients just like, well, you guys take care of it because they yeah. still look at it more like, well, I'm outsourcing a portion yeah. of my work to you, so. Uh -huh. They don't necessarily sometimes look at it. They don't necessarily do, do mentorship thing. Like, yeah. Well, we hope they do, of but um, <laughs> that's what we gotta do better from uh -huh. the client interface point of 
view, we wanted to create this very kind of checklist based yeah. project guidelines. So I'm just kind of just, oh, you know, like week one, I need to do this. Right, week right. Two. Actually, you know, alignment. Right. 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 So it's like a guideline, just so on the big focus next year because we, one is for student, right? They can sure. follow the work test. Two is kind of for client to be well, this is the best way we feel you can That's train right. a, a global right. and virtual there, team. There's a, a more structured way to do that. Right. right. Mm -hmm. So, and then, so these are like kind of our town. So well now we have like about mm -hmm. eleven hundred students. Mm -hmm. Not here, many just like from like you said, Indo, Indo Pacific. In, yeah. 对，就是一些 emerging Asia. Yeah. Then, so these are that also like in Japan, there are also some like that, right? Okay. There's some. Yeah, but yeah, this person yeah, okay. hasn't filled the profile, right. so okay. we gotta do a better job on getting the students. Sure, 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 sure. To, 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 to. So. Yes, um, but but what? Well, no, I just want to ask you, just like for Taiwan, right? Uh -huh. So eventually, we, we we just love to really get more Taiwanese students sure. involved um, yeah. on this because I think this uh -huh. could be a good opportunity for sure, sure, sure. the Taiwanese sure. students to yeah. to be exposed. Uh -huh. yeah. But I, I think I'm I'm running to several challenges. So one is just feel like um, Taiwanese youth in general are. Well, this concept internship is it's, it's. I feel like in Taiwan, it's a little bit. Uh, how do you say? It? People define it in very different ways. I guess. Really? Yeah. Because we we run a quite successful oh, really? internship portal, <laughs> including the public sector and private sector, as well and community uh, services as well. And every year we uh, recruit uh, thirty interns, and they are actually. Most Remote mm. uh, and but but they instead of working on community engagement, they work on uh, the experience design uh, for the various um, government-run services and so on. And mm -hmm. they have this um, Cinda Balka right, like mm -hmm. medium write-ups. Oh, um, and great. so they also uh, take place uh, to mentor the, the next batch uh, next mm -hmm. year uh, if they want. Um, and some of them, well, one of them <laughs> has been promoted to full timer oh, nice. uh, here yeah, as, yeah, a, yeah. A, as a fellow colleague. Um, and so I, I think that Taiwanese youth actually is very well suited for remote um, mm. teleworking internship. Uh, but they really need uh, to understand the purpose. Like the the if you say you know this is just to earn a quick buck, no nobody is interested. Yeah. yeah. But, but if you say you know, then they're actually more purposeful. Yeah. Yeah. They're, they're much more purposeful. Yeah. I guess the problem is because for well, when how I got started it mm -hmm. was actually so a lot of these students for where I sit is because I I was doing a lot of tourism development yeah. work so these students are kind of from travel and hospitality yeah, schools that's right so in theory this is just mm -hmm. well, I don't want to put mm -hmm. yeah. uh, just yeah. lower tier there's uh -huh. a time in academic speaking uh -huh. at the uh -huh. Uh -huh. mid to bottom uh -huh. level uh -huh. of uh -huh. Student uh -huh. grades on or the linear scale. That, that's that's right. I'm a middle school dropout, so <laughs> yeah. you can't tell yeah, yeah. Okay, <laughs> yeah, but well, you know what I mean. Yeah. So at least just at, at the, from the traditional academic mm -hmm. definition, mm -hmm. they are less high performing. Sure, sure. Mm -hmm. Then, then we have this, and this seems to be a layer we, we focus on right now. You know, just we're now at the Seton. I feel like we're not designing this current pro program mm -hmm. for the very top students. Mm -hmm. Mm, maybe you're attracting really mm -hmm. motivated and and you yeah, know sort of the, smart students. Yeah, we, we expanded that uh, program, which is just a two months program, so even more micro than yours. Wow! Uh, to, Are they to, full time or uh, part time? Uh, just like fifteen hours per week. Oh, so, really? So we're and remote too. And, and in a team of three, uh, in the remote. Oh, interesting. Okay. okay. So we kind of independently invented. <laughs> but why can't they just work in your office or uh -huh. working some? Yeah, because space? because they're they're all over the place. They're okay. over Taiwan. So while most of the central government agencies are in Taipei. Right, uh, right. For example, if they want to work on the Taichung Shi Shi Wei case, mm. they probably have to interview people in Taichung Shi. Got it. Uh, in, yeah. in which case, of course, the people around the central Taiwan will be more interested uh, in working on that case. Mm. Uh, but we do have, of course, a get together lecture and pizza and things like that. But okay. most of the time, uh, they, they work remote. Uh, mm. and so we also have this workspace and things like that. Yeah, but the, the point is that this works pretty well so that we also work on the 3T.RG.TW, which is this training talent transformation thing uh, which recruits um, I think hundreds oh, can uh, I take a picture sure, sure, of this of these are all uh, public websites yeah. anyway. 
Yeah. yeah. So uh, what we're trying to do here is not necessarily the academically um, inclined, like dream in Python uh, people, <laughs> but rather uh, if, for example, they're interested in digital engagement, mm. and they actually may very well be around the same uh, age and uh, um, interest space. Um, but uh, we uh, work with like fresh uh, graduated undergrad mostly uh, for this program. So like the people in the fourth year uh, of undergrad, uh, and then uh, they can just click uh, this weird uh, brainwave Apply. control. I, I, but I do they have to? Yeah. Uh, and, then, um, and then choose uh, what kind of um, work they, they want to enroll in. And, and this is team of five. Uh, and they work with a kind of local, uh, actually just like the tourism bureau in Guam, actually a local uh, community. community that want to increase its visibility to mm. the digital means uh, and, and so on. So for the Shui Xinxiao part, I think it's almost completely the same. Uh, but this is like two weeks of intensive training on site and then a team of five and goes on to do six months of internship. Oh, interesting. Yeah. So, so they have to do works offline too, not just mm -hmm. totally online. So right. They have the, to do the local Training. The initial training I is, is, of course, in the four uh, offices, uh, and oh. then uh, once they start the training program, that depends on their community needs, right? right. So if they uh, are deployed to, for example, transform the Shu Wei Xing mm -hmm. for a particular a town or something, right, yeah. or town or something, of course, they'll have to make trips to that town. Got it. Got it. Now, one of my biggest goal too mm -hmm. is to figure out a way to pay these interns That's so right. i don't know are they like these interns are mm -hmm. non-pay or paid these are paid uh, for six months of uh work if they finish the internship of okay. course no job ads then we pay them around shi wan uh for for the work oh for six months yeah for okay, six okay. months and the, and the training is free Got uh, it. and they yeah. get certificates so it's a pretty good deal so so the problem for our design right now for this program is yeah. Well, so basically the intern have to work non-pay yeah. for at least three to six months yeah. in our system and then they get a bands and then we start to kind of figure out a way to pay them. Right? Yeah, well, we pay them at the end of the internship. At the time. end of it. Yeah. Oh, so, okay. So not unlike uh, your program. Oh, uh, yeah. uh, that's why we just this uh, but, but then this idea of non-pay, right, uh, at least uh, for a while. Yeah. The intern sometimes, at least, and, and I think if every intern could you know, depending on who you talk to, sure. so they all might see it the same way. But it's very a controversial sometimes uh, aspect about interns, well, right? I, I, or depending I, I, on how you position. Right, it. right. Because it, that's why I uh, mentioned the mentorship is perhaps the most important. Like if these are the people that you will pay to attend a lecture to. Yeah, because you have to pay for these education. Right, right, exactly. So, so then it sounds a good deal because you're you're uh, basically paying zero dollars, but still get pretty good mentorship right, right, from, right, from right, these right. folks. Mm -hmm. uh, but if you we don't have this, then it sounds like exploiting. Because <laughs> <laughs> you so we got really highlight education. I think, so. I think so. Well, yeah, because that that's also kind of new to us. Mm -hmm. Obviously, we were just shaping that up for the past three months to mm -hmm. be a more structured program mm -hmm. from training point of view. But before, maybe you didn't think too much. It's just like, oh, there's this. Because we have these very motivated, mm -hmm. I would say, students from the you know India, the sure. Philippines. They are some who are willing to, because I because actually working for an overseas company, and putting yeah. on their resume it looks means a lot. Yeah. 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 So right. for them, by default, they are more yeah. okay doing yeah, yeah, doing yeah. non pay, yeah. and I'm sure. And we have some Taiwanese students doing that too. But by and large, I feel like everyone is happy to say, "Hey, now I still think I need to have some." Unless you say you can demonstrate your competitive advantage is very high, then in which case yeah. this is just a business activity, right? Uh, yeah, but but if this is mostly for like one business, then of course a natural uh, question asked by actually some applicants here uh, is to say, you know, what stops those particular business from, you know, just keep rejecting us, right? So yeah. uh, for every three months, they have a fresh batch of uh, young livers. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, because because they see this as I'm, I'm actually doing work for a commercial company, yeah. for a private company, yeah. and, and why? So 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 unlike working for the government, to see you get a obviously it's for right. public good. Yeah. Right. So for, for, for us as a platform, mm -hmm. it's a little bit harder to tell them, well, you got to work yeah. for free for Moshi for like yeah. three to six months. Here, here they, they actually, the, their on-site training is also on um, business sector. Companies, mm -hmm. it's not like these are suddenly state-owned enterprises, uh, or, or not like Beijing. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's what that, they do. That's, that's right. That's right. <laughs> Everything nationalized. Right? Uh, that's right. Bo Jingming Tui and all that. Right. So, so if you're interested uh, in, for example, uh, Wai Shang, right, because it will look good on their resume, mm -hmm. 
-hmm. they'll probably say, you know, I'll spend six months in the white shop, right. uh, and then they pay me Shi Wan Yun if I finish my six uh, months. So this Shi Wan is standard across? It's standard across oh, really? the, all the different businesses. So it's just all the different businesses, whether it's big or small. That's right. That's right. That's oh, really? Right, that's right. So, so to be a Xiangyin CEO, it also means that I have to put some something, you know, uh, saying that uh, I have to offer mentorship, I have to mentor right, a, right, right. a reasonable like deployment strategy and things like that. So, so it tends to be, um, uh, uh, and I'll, I'll be honest, it tends to be kind of medium to large enterprises. Mm -hmm. While this program is designed for medium to small enterprises, because, yeah. because for small enterprises, you know, for a batch of five students to get them sufficient mentorship isn't actually that easy. Mm -hmm. uh, so they don't have the manpower. They don't have the, the, the right, right. right. So, so we're we're saying, you know, maybe a, a Shangquan and a Jiechu, a community together, banding together right, as small right, enterprise right. with a local social entrepreneur acting as kind of a captain on the business side. Uh, yeah, can yeah. then work with the five people here on the internship. So we're still tuning this program too, but it looks um, kind of very much overlapping. Yeah, you know, because right now a lot of our here. internship sponsors yeah. are not even like mid-sized business, they're like almost micro enterprise. That's right. So a lot of the actually NGOs or uh -huh. they don't have a lot of budget. So the idea of having these, uh -huh. you know, sort of like affordable team for them is a good, good plus. That's mm -hmm. just for, but it kind of goes both ways. Then just obviously then. the mentorship capacity So it means all we have to train. That's so right. I think we're we're mm -hmm. in a similar situation, but, right. but obviously you have a lot of bigger names here. But uh, <laughs> sure, sure, sure. But but uh, I think um, there's a lot of um, complementary uh, learnings because, for example, we don't have an English website. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. I don't have a Chinese. <laughs> That's right. It's yeah. like completely. But uh, but is this open for only Taiwan students? Right, or at, at this moment, yes, because okay. this program was designed uh, because we kind of anticipated when securing this budget that there will be a rise in youth employment because of COVID. But because we're too successful in countering COVID, there's no use. <laughs> oh, so this is a new program. This, this is, is a program. Genius, I guess. Uh, actually, literally, uh, wow. this is a Brand new program. And so we're still tuning this in. So first year too. This that's is, right. Oh, that's wow. right. That's right. So can my company be yeah, one yes, of the companies to sponsor the company? Right? Oh, and, and, and also becoming a CEO doctor if you want. That's just 十万块是是谁会帮助你啊？那这十万块是是谁会帮助你啊？那这十万块是是谁会帮助你啊？那这十万块是是谁会帮助你啊？那这十万块是是谁会帮助你啊？那这十万块是是谁会帮助你啊？
，那你就可以来台湾，然后而且享用健保等等，在这个最最安全的地方。You know, my my friend just brought like a bunch of uh, ta, he he. He runs a crypto company,、yeah. uh, but he was one of a third party manager at YouTube, so you know Steve Chen and those yeah, guys. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Sure, so sure, he just came. Yeah, Steve Chen is the first one. Yeah, yeah. Because they are one of the gang. Then he came. 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 就是说，他其实以前回来就是就是 very short time， 然后来玩这样。过年的。对对 ，So I'm now I'm just kind of telling him, well, you need to spend some time in the local community to really、um, get to know Taiwan. And, and I think a lot of them want to do something once they learn more about 就是台湾这边的状况啊。对对对对,对。呀、yeah, ，所以就是说，我是觉得至少 digital engagement 这一边 T 大使是也许可以考虑 engage。嗯，那然后当然我们一直都有 internally 跑见习，像我们的见习，刚刚讲每年三十个也是呃请那个青年署，他们本来就有一个职场体验网，我刚刚秀给你看的还都是青年署的对对对对的 program 那。那那那边也可以考虑 engage。那如果现在讲的是国外的 intern 过来的话，那我觉得很多 go car 对都是一个很好的想法，嗯、因为。他们本来就是 work for themselves. Go Kart 的 the whole point of Go Kart 就是他不用 work for Taiwanese company. Ah,、uh, okay. They just can, come to work. They、right? just come to to live here.、Uh, and, and this is three years, right? This is three years.、Yeah. And also they can reapply once three years is up.、Uh, and on their fifth year, they can apply for naturalization、uh, without giving up their passport. Actually, the feedback、yeah. from my friend,、yeah. he almost feel like the qualification is too low for this. I know. I know. 他就觉得说，哦，这有点，就是我说，因为我们现在是比较 ，I think the the cause is to welcome. 我们的概念就是说，大家都可以说 ，I'm also Taiwanese. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's great because I honestly have my advisors being so he retired from McKinsey for the past twenty one years. Then he actually is a lot of like, uh, but recently he he has ARC now in Taiwan, right? So I just found at least I see there's a new energy coming. There's a flow of talents and capitals and and given the trade wars and 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 I also think like. Because Hong Kong and Singapore are very island states,、yeah. so because of COVID,、uh, right. that really challenged from them to just sort of zone, they they locked out from、right. from the international right. connection. Right. So I think Taiwan, to me, there's a Taiwan 3.0 coming. That's right. That's right. Third third is economic growth. That's right. That's right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. We're very non-challenging. <laughs> <laughs> well, I think、yeah. this is our decade. Right. This、we're、is our decade、great. because、yeah. because I think I think I think. I don't know COVID just just maybe just just meant to be, but、mm-hmm. but it is、uh, mm-hmm. to see a butterfly effect, right? Just、really、kind of like mess everything. <laughs> it really is. It really is. Right, so so so, I think there are two more practical ones. One is the T-Dash area. Hmm. Then I can see how. Yeah. 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 那这个跟你刚刚说的那个 local impact 其实是一样的。嗯、那而且，但是国发会同时又主导那个 bilingual nations、嗯。那所以这两个其实是有一个 synergy，、嗯、就是说我们怎么样子去确保说，哎，如果一个 local community 要做 international outreach 的话，对，它可以 work with not only、uh, interns from Taiwan， but also in, interns all across the world or at least in the Pacific。Right。所以，所以我觉得那这个 community 对国发会是很有 leverage。对，因为大概有多少人已经拿到这个？呃，这边有讲啊，就是、哦、呃呃，在十月底一五三，现在应该快要破两千了。哇、哦，对，所以其实真的，因为我们去年可能两百张都不一定发得出来。You know, a few years ago, I bought a bunch of stuff from San Francisco.、Yeah. 那个时候大概二零一七吧，我们去的北京、上海啊，不是北京、深圳、香港。Yeah. 然后台湾本来 nobody wants to come there.、Right. Why? Why Taiwan? We want to Singapore, right? right? I'm like, no, you gotta come here for the tea. Yeah. So they, I just got them pinned over. Bubble tea. Sorry. Sorry. Exactly. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
designing， 那 obviously 就，但我觉得那些美国的比较小的地方政府就很 struggle，、嗯、因为就是 they they just don't have all the agency working together，、嗯、and they don't have that。这个 digital infrastructure， 对，所以就这也是蛮 challenge 的。但是 ，you know， hopefully the vaccine is it's gonna work。Yeah, sure. Yeah. 对对对。So I've been referencing some of the the videos that you did, uh, to to show this, um, some of the government and the I work with. Um, have you heard anything about this, uh, the digital passport thing, health health pass, uh, common pass? 是之后台湾也会装那个嘛？就是人家进来之后会有这个 digital screening。我有听说，但是那个是就是卫福部自己，因为它有点有点 bilateral 的性质，所以我没有 involve into it。但是我有听说，对。Got it, 就是至少就是说你在呃现在外面说要呃自己出示那个就是 R T P C R， 是,是,是,是，那但是现在就发现 forgery 很多，啊、这样这样就是最最近的问题是这个，哦、就是在很容易伪造了。对，所以就如果说有一些就是 accredited institution 可以用 digital 的方式交换的话，嗯、我想卫福部会非常 welcome it，、right. 特别是在 vaccinated people 上面，不然你进来还是要测一次 antibody 啊。对对对对。Right, right, right, right. Mm. Well, that's the next year's challenge.、Again. Yeah, that's next year's challenge. <laughs>、yeah. But but I, I think we're we're in a pretty good place. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Plenty、yeah, yeah. of physical vaccines.、So. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Wow. So this T, I think this two really is. T dash and Omicron, I think is the best. Is I can be. Yeah. 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 Yeah
Well, I thank you for your time well, today. You. Yes, I so I was here forty minutes. Oh, I got, I got, I don't want to go over. Really, really, yeah, sure. Yeah, thank you, thank you. Our internship program actually is something that, that. Ah, you know, just talking about the summer school is Shaolin, so actually, okay, so so they all heard me, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> that's right. That's right. They they know you already. Yeah. Okay, so this is your email. Yeah, yeah you can email me directly. Wow. Yeah. Very open. I found this thing is just like an open environment. <laughs> because I was passed by at midnight. I was like, why? 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 No gates. Yeah. So just don't don't gate. Yeah, right. It's called right. open government. Wow. Yeah. It's very impressive. Yeah. Well, Taiwan is certainly very progressive right now. So that's I'm really proud of it. Yeah. Rainbow mask and all. Okay. Well, Audrey, thank, thank you so much. Thank you. 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 Thank you.